Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this frame. This is a frame given to us. This frame consists of one beam and two columns. And this frame has been loaded with uniformly distributed load all over its structure members. The beam is loaded with a magnitude of 5 kN per meter distributed load, while the two vertical columns are also loaded with a magnitude of 2 kN per meter and 3 kN per meter. And the length of the beam is 8 meter, while the two columns having the same length of 5 meter. And we are interested to find out the support reactions for these supports. Let's consider this is support A and this is support B. So this is a hinge support, so it has the property that it can resist both the vertical and horizontal load. So it will be RAY and RAX. It is a roller support, so it can only take the vertical reaction RB. So we are interested to find out RAX, RAY and RB. To find out these three reactions, we can use these two equilibrium equations, summation of moment at any point equal to zero, or summation of vertical forces equal to zero, or summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. We can use these three equations to find out the support reaction. Now first we are interested to find out the vertical reaction. So we have two vertical reactions, RAY and RB. So we cannot use this equation because we are interested in vertical reactions. Now we are only remain with this equation and this equation. Since there are two unknowns, so we cannot use this equation. Because this equation can be used when we have only one unknown. So we have two unknowns, so we can use this equation. Summation of moment at any point equal to zero. And let's suppose that summation of moment at point B equal to zero. And the clockwise moment is taken as positive, And the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. The moment formula is equal to the... You can find the moment by this formula, force into moment arm. This formula is used to find out the moment, force multiplying it with the moment arm. Now, summation of moment at point B equal to zero. So at this point, we take the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. Now, RA will also create the moment at point B. So this RA is acting in upper direction, so it will create the clockwise moment about point B. Because it is acting in upward, so it will create clockwise moment about point B. So it is taken as positive because clockwise moment is taken as positive. So RAY is the force multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from A point up to B, which is this 8 meter horizontal distance. So 8 is the moment arm. Now, this force also creates a moment about point B. So it is 2 kN per meter. If this we multiply it with the distributed length because this load is distributed over the length of 5 meter. So if you multiply this 2 with the 5, so if you multiply 2 kN per meter with the 5 meter, so meter meter will be cancelled and we get 10 kN. So 10 kN load will be acting at the center of this column. At the center of this column means at a distance of 2.5 from this support. Because 5 meter is the total length of the column, so it will be 2.5 meter because it will act at the center of this column. So this load is 10 kN acting at the center of the column. And also it creates clockwise moment about point B because it will act in this direction and it will create clockwise moment about point B. So it is again taken as positive 10 kN multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to point B, which is 2.5 meter. So again, this horizontal load, later load on the column, also creates a moment about point B. So 3 kN, multiplying it with the 5 meter distance, so this force will act at the center of this column, which will be 15 kN, because 3 into 5 equal to 15 kN, and this will create anti-clockwise moment about point B. An anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative, minus 15 multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is 5 is the total length of the column, dividing it by 2, so it will be 2.5 meter. So, 
this force also creates some moments about point B. So this force, if you multiply 5 with the 8, so this force will act at the center of this beam, which will be the 4 meter from this end. Because this load will act at the center, so 5 into 8, and it creates the moment in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be again taken as negative, 5 into 8, we got 40, multiplying it with the 4, 4 is the moment term, equal to 0. So summation of all the moment about point B is equal to 0. Now we shift this all values into the right side and just remaining 8 are A, Y on the left side. So we got minus 25 plus 37.5 and plus 160. Now by again simplifying we got 172.5 so R A Y dividing it by 8 so R A Y comes out to be 21.56 kN so this is the reaction here at the support R A Y is equal to the 21.56 kN now how to find out the R B now to find out R B we can now use this equation because this equation can be used when there is only one unknown in the vertical direction. So using summation of vertical force is equal to zero and that upward force is taken as positive and downward force is taken as negative. So the upward forces are RA and RB. These are upward forces and downward forces are this load which is 5 into 8 which was 40 kN. So it is taken as negative because it is acting in downward direction. So minus 40 equal to 0. Summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. Now we know that R A is given to us. R A Y is known to us which is 21.56. So R B will be equal to 40 minus R A Y. It means 40 minus 21.56. So R B comes out to be 18.44 kN. So this is the support reaction here at this point 18.44 kN. Now we are only remain with the Rx. So to find out Rx we can use this equation to find out the horizontal force. Summation of all the horizontal force is equal to zero. So force is acting in this direction is taken as positive and let's consider force is acting in this direction is taken as negative. Now Rx is acting in this direction so it is taken as positive and then again this force 10 kN is acting again in this direction so it is again taken as positive and this force 15 kN is acting in the opposite direction so it is taken as negative minus 15 equal to 0 so Rax comes out to be 15 minus 10 comes out to be 5 kN so this Rax is 5 kN so this is the way how to find out the support reaction for a given frame hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.